stuff. I mean, God, when I got into broadcasting, I mean, I, 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 I went out and bought, you know, a camera because I needed a camera. He said, what's a studio camera? Well, it wasn't like I got done with it because I had, I picked, I got a marine battery from a, from a boat and I put it on a push cart and I, I plugged the battery into the camera. I had a portable camera that weighed like 125 pounds and I, I pushed it on the cart and I was shooting video back when nobody else was because I'd figured out the power problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, then, then it took like eight hours to charge that battery again, mm -hmm. so, but, um, but this is, the, the industry has changed a lot. Um, I mean, I, I know people that were been, that have been fired on the air and tossed out of the station. I know. They, yeah, that's... I mean, I mean anybody remember WKRP in Cincinnati, Howard Hessman is famous for... He, uh, he was a television newsman and he was a children's television host. And he basically... Why the tables came about... I mean, people used to stand around, you know, and sit in chairs, stand around, do things, news. But um, they came about because a lot of people in the nude business actually did children's hosting. I think Hessman was wearing a chicken outfit. He took the so he was chicken that from it, the legs waist down. Yeah, and um, he as he's doing the, 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 this is the legend. We never know how much truth in it, but, but since I've seen it happen with guys wearing horses outfits that were fired during his people. He said that he got up, you know, well, he basically, you know, they're doing the readjustment of the mic and stuff, and he's standing there with a suit from here to here and a chicken outfit, and a, stadium, a station uh, owner, or no, or owner comes in. He doesn't know, you know, he doesn't know how the business is done. He considered, you know, what the, you know, and he said, you know, this is a news operation. This is not a clown house, and they fired him on the air. And he couldn't under, that's sort of, he put that into his character. He used to get fired for saying, you know, they get fired for saying, a, 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 which there's nothing wrong with it, but, you know, gobbledygook or something, and they just, the way he said it got him fired, but that was it. Today, that um, the news industry walks an ungodly fine line, because no one protects the rights of the news people anymore. Theoretically, we have a press shield in California, which means they can't, uh, we don't have to cite sources, we don't have to do this, we don't have to do that, but nobody pays any attention to it anymore. And they always tell you to cite your sources. To cite your sources. You don't have to cite a source if it's, uh, you know, you can guard the identity of the source. Also, if you're an expert in the field, and uh, how many people know more about 3D than I do that are alive? Mm -hmm. Not many. Uh, uh, but I always tell people the thing that people don't want to hear, which is basically, um, you can show 3D on anything that was ever invented. Black and white set can show it. Color set can show it. Because it's a signal. It. It's a signal, folks. It just okay. I mean, go it to, says it's still there, but you yeah. know, it, it, it depends it, on what experience you want to have. Go into a video store and look for a, a, a 3D movie from like 60 years ago, like Gorilla at Large, or go that, or it came from outer space, and. I'm amazed. How can I show that, that 3D DVD or video on my on my equipment? The guy tell you because it's just a signal. Yeah, they'll tell you in the video stores it's just a signal. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. It's just a signal. Your your television set picks it up. Your computer will pick it up. Your cameras like anything anything well, is can feed into computer. Kids, you know, here's one of the things about 3D. People are like, oh well, you know, I don't know about getting the, the TV set because you have to wear glasses and all that stuff. And 3D is such and such. And I said, I, I said, I have my cell phone here. Watch it and you get to working because it's just it's something that is there. It's just furniture is what it is now. But um, that if if you take if you let <coughs> being fired mm -hmm. by an internet company bother you, you, you're, you know you're, okay everybody gets fired. This is the economy. Since we weren't making any money, we were not making any money. No one was looking at what we were doing. Gee, just that, whoever's named in it. Yeah, and then that. I can go back and redo the whole bloody thing anyway, all over again. So. And that's that's oh and the, the postman's got an assistant walking behind him. That's kind of strange. It's got to be a trainee or something carrying mail, carrying boxes. But uh, no, but uh, here's a the, trick. The only thing certain is change. Yeah, that's all. A change. But we'll give you a tip. No matter if you're gonna write for an internet publication, have a backup plan. Because you'd almost always, okay. Or, yeah. or, or video, a viral video, video whatever, Same whatever it is. Have a backup is. plan because most of the time, okay, what they're doing is they're, um, they're, they're uh, video uses a cell phone and an email. 
If you happen to have a second cell phone number and a different email, you can get back on the same system again. Mm -hmm. That's all they're caring about because they're harvesting information. The information is far, if say for instance, um, I, I, have, I have my family name and I have my real name. You know, actually my real name is, the, okay, here's the way it works. When my parent, my grandfather came to this country, my father came to this country himself in the world before, long before World War I, they said, your name was too long. This is what your name is. And that's what we became. We know that when you hear, when you see people that have my family name, well, that's not my family because my, that name never existed. A guy at Ellis Allen said, this is what your name is. This We're is going to change it. Which the, I had that with the relatives, too. They yeah. that's, it's, it's a made-up name. And so, you, sure. you, you know, I can sit there. I, I have my driver's license has two names on it. Both of them are, both of them are legal. Mm -hmm. So I'll use either one to fill out forms. They're both legal, folks, because they're my name. It says... No, it, 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 I, I have a I have a really funny driver's license, but um, but it does it is totally legal because it is my legal name, mm -hmm. and I can sit there and play with either one. You know, they look at my driver's license. They said, "Yeah, but that's got that and that." And they said, "Because that is my name." Tell me, you want I can add thirty or forty more names to go with it. So mm -hmm. yeah, I can. I mean, she's seen it. It's like about um, a paragraph in size and God knows how many words. And it's all, it's my name. I was born with it, you know, which has caused me much grief in my life, but um, for many reasons, especially banking reasons, but um, you bear, you prepare, in, okay, um, my, my father, this is what my father said in the world. My father said, you're hired to be fired. And the odds of a person lasting as long in any business is, uh, you know, we try, oh, there's Monty's cats again. Ooh, this one is a... Well, because we are... Next month it'll be seven years. Seven years. Next, yeah. And we've we've. Oh wait a minute! No, it started. It started. It, Monty, it'll be a little over. It's, we're it's in our seventh now. We started in or was it September. Is I it just seven? do it by Monty's age. Monty's age. Monty, we actually. So we seven. Monty's seven. We're seven and a half. When Monty come, when when Monty's birthday comes around, we'll be about seven and a half years in existence, pushing our eighth. And we've we've always. I mean, like, like I said. Is she seven or is she? I don't think she's seven. I don't, I she's six or seven. Anyway. She's six or seven. We've been in seven now. But um, like I said, it, it's a unique thing. She is the heavy business side. Her, her, she's got uh, you know international studies in business. I just basically really could care less about business. But I am a statistical person massively. I mean, I go, I, I sit and run every single bloody system. I run the analytics like you cannot believe. And I, I know exactly where we're strong and where we're not strong. And we're not we're strong in areas that you shouldn't believe we're strong in, because we are strong in women, educated women, mm -hmm. very edu strong in educated women, and we're very strong out of the United States. We're here. We're top heavy out of this country. We're not as big in here because there's a part of the reason is we do 3D, and 3D is not as impressive in the United States as out of the country. Yeah. It's big out of the country. We're also in over 50 languages. Mm -hmm. So we have an impressive resume. The problem is our resume, if we put it up like we did, we scared the hell out of one publication doing it. And, and the writing, writing stuff is just because uh, it allows us to expand our, our base because she, you know, she writes very well, you know, I, and she, you know, and I edit fairly decent, but, um, you know, but, uh, so we just decided you know, actually, we wanted to go into we wanted, we wanted to go into film critics tour stuff and TV critics stuff. So we basically had to start writing to do that because they don't like the internet. But it doesn't make any difference. You know, I didn't expect them to. I mean, like she was, you know, nobody was reading it. Nobody knew it existed except for the people we told directly. So when we lost it this morning, I. I already prepared last week. I know, but it's still all there. Yeah, it's still all there. Yeah, it's because it, it, it is the, it, it it's making them money. The same stuff as everything that we have had removed on our oh, videos wait, are still there. Does that mean we hit something big? It could mean we hit something big and they want to pay it. That's another thing about the internet. If you all of a sudden click, uh, you you get taken down because they don't pay any. I mean, people they do get money and they don't get money. It's just like we've had people. Well, can we work for you? Well, no, because there isn't any money in it. It's like the old days where, like, you get like a, uh, a, a ten views, you get a penny. 
-hmm. That's not going to make you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I even got, I even took things, I, I, I took right, some of, I wrote some of those things directly because there was a prepay in advance. I never got the prepay either. I'm not down, but I never got the prepay. I wrote a short story for him, never got a penny. So, but I, I don't let that way. I mean, I mean, like, for instance, we'll tell you, we do not expect to be going to CES this year again. I, last year was a gimme, this year I did not expect it was going to happen. I hope so. Yeah, but, uh, well, we'll, 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 I can maneuver my way in because we got, we were more impressive than we were when we filed the form, so a lot more impressive. But uh, what happened is, for instance, CES is downsizing and they're, they're bouncing people out because they just no longer fit in with the size of the, of the show anymore. So I expected that. I mean, well, we just I, came from a show yeah. that we were surprised at. Um, I was surprised, which was a SEMA show, I was surprised that it was still as large as it was. Yeah. I was surprised that some of the people that I expected to be there that should have been there were no longer there. No longer there. And it's not just a couple people, there were quite a few people. And then you add to the fact too that the companies no longer have the money to come to these events. The press company used to send like four or five or sending one person. I mean we went to one of the things where they had a woman, you know, she came never been to what the trade show in her life and had no idea what and she was expecting to be able to hire people there to work for her. Mm -hmm. No, because they're already working for other people. That's why they got there. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, um, uh, but so she's trying. She's uh, you know, she basically got heel high heels, no walking shoes. Didn't realize it's like a hundred miles in a oh. week. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, she was really dogging it the first day, you know, because she's having to, you know, with a with a cell phone camera doing interviews because she didn't have a didn't have any camera because there weren't any available. We also know um, the racing industry is changing for the same industry reason because there's no money, so you're cutting back on people. The internet basically is a is a savior and um, and the death of the news industry mm. because um, you can always get somebody to do what we're what we're doing, what we were doing, and and basically suck up to the people that are your sponsors. I happen to have a degree in journalism. I actually did go to journalism. So she studied the business and journalism stuff. We do have, we do have journalism. Not like that should ever impact it, but it does. It's like, it does. well, if you have something like that, how can you get the advertiser because you have... And we are, we are basically members of the, we are, we, we got a pair of dues again, of course, but we got another few more weeks on that one. But remember the Radio Television News Director Association, we are, which is online directors now. Digital but, news. Digital news, but we are one of the people that are in that, we started out that, so we do is called journalistic integrity. You either do it right or don't do it. That's, um, um, I mean, I'm actually going to try to end this with something. I used to go, when I was younger, they used to have a lot of major stars that would come, you know, over at the film class or they give seminars or be guest lecturers for weeks or so. Orson Welles, you know, he came in, you know, telling people, he said, you know, the best thing I can tell you in life, you know, because these are all J students. That were, you know, they all, you know, they signed up for the film thing because they wanted to hear the lectures from all of these people. So they, they signed up for the film courses because of all these, you know, you having, you, you know, the, the, this was long before Spielberg, but you'd have people like Francis Ford Capra, you would have Coppola, Coppola you know, um, Frank Capra, Frank Capra. You would have, uh, um, uh, you know, Ford, the director. You'd have John Huston. You'd have um, a lot of the, you know. Joseph von Stroheim, they'd come in and they'd give lectures about the about the thing, and and, um, and basically, uh, what's his name, uh, Orson Welles said, I know that most of you people are journalists, students. He said, remember, I once was a newsman myself, so I'm going to give you advice across the board. If you don't like what you're doing, then don't do it, because only you're responsible for what you're seeing doing. No one else is. So. That's, that's sort of our ending on this piece. Uh, until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's more information. Put it www.montybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us. Follow our daily newscast in 3D. And yes, come follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. And just remember, no matter what you do, they gather information. If you They're use your cell phone, to. they gather it. Yeah, clean out your cookies. Yeah, we tell people about that, that clean out your cookies multiple times a day now. Yeah, and thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.